it on with the second half of these books that are my favorite. Now the light will probably change a lot because the sun keeps doing crazy things. The sun's the sun, I can't help that. Anyway, these are in no order. These are just what I'm going to grab first to what I see. There is no particular one, two, three, four, and five, six. So the first one I see, first one I'm going to do. All the kind of stuff. I'm going to talk about is Unravel Me by Tara Mahaffey. Or Tara Mahaffey. We ever know her name. It's one of my all-time favorite covers, i got to be honest. Like, the, the cover is so cool. Like, the you get a close-up of an eye and it's got these birds and leaves. Like, from a distance to me, it looks like frostiness. I don't know if that's only my opinion but i just love the cover it's got beautiful colors on it. it's just very it's a very pr predominant cover like i would just i would love i love this cover this cover is colin fisher by ashley edwards and zach steins i got this book a long long time ago and when i immediately got it i was drawn to the cover and it's just beautiful because with the you don't see this guy's face you see the different emotions that he has and it overtakes his face and i just think it's very very good detail it's just be it's a really unique cover and i really like that and even on the inside flap it's got um, different emotions and stuffing that's very very cool details. I'm all about details when it comes to um, when it comes to books. I think that's very very important and I just really love the detail and quirkiness and how this fully embodies the book. This book of course you probably will be expecting is The Elite by Kiara Cass. Hands down one of the best series covers I've seen in a long time. Like it's just beautiful and you know there's a trend going on with the girls in dresses on the covers and I quite frankly am sick of that because most of the time that the girl dresses in the covers she doesn't wear dresses in the books. She's not that type of character at all but the but the selection books are 100% okay with that because that is what the book is about. You know girls having to dress up, portray and try to win and stuff like that. That I love it and this cover is red and it's got that this beautiful dress that I would love to wear but will I pull it off? Probably not but it's just beautiful. I love it. Oh, beautiful. This book is one of my all-time favorite books and that is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey and I really love the cover of this because it's so mysterious like you don't really know what to expect with this cover. You have a girl on there and it's got this beautiful kind of golden amber ambery light like, and it's just a mystery. You see her walking out the distance so you really don't know what this book is about by the judging of the cover and I kind of like that sometimes. You are intrigued. You want more. Next cover is Pivot Point by Cassie West. Beautiful beautiful cover. Oh my gosh. I I love how this embodies the book completely if you have read it, which I have. And it's one girl and you see, and it says right here, one girl, two fates, one choice. And it's the same girl pivoted, you know, and then it's got these, like, I don't know, bubbles, boca, bo boca bubbles. I don't know, but I adore it. I think it is very, very beautiful. I can't wait to see what the rest of the series covers will look I think if they continue with this route, I am happy. Next cover is Let the Sky Fall by Shannon Messenger. Isn't this just beautiful? Like, it just makes you want to go, ah. The colors in it really just, I don't, it's about like a storm and stuff, but they're common colors to me. Like, you have that yellow and the gold and kind of rusticness of it. And you have this couple that's floating in the air, and you you get the, and I just love the, te the text on it too. I'm all about beautiful typography and I love that. And I just love that it's very simple yet so beautiful and elegant. It's Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. Now, a lot of you guys gave me harp on that I did not include Cinder in my last one, which Cinder is one of my favorite covers, I gotta be honest. But I like Scarlet's cover better because it's just the cape with the red hair and I think that it embodies the book perfectly. And I love the text always on her books and I just love that and you can feel it. It's very cool and I love, love, love this cover. Eleanor in Park by Rainbow Roll. I hope you can see this. This is another simple cover. I adore simple covers and I love complex covers. You never know what you're getting with me. I love this one because it's just exactly that. Eleanor in Park and it's just combining them with the headphones and they have the headphones in the shape of a you know, the and symbol. I don't know what the particular word for that is, if that's right. But I just love how it's just simple text and it's just, uh, I love it. I really think it's one of the most, my, one of my all time favorite covers. Like, I would love to have a poster of this. I love it that much on um, my cover, which I'm sure is on everybody's list, is the Archive by Victoria Schwab. How cool is this cover? First of all, what makes this book so cool is the soft feeling of it. Very, very soft. You got this key and the smoke in this girl's face, and you're like, and to me, honestly, this girl looks like Juno. Does she not? Is it just me? I forget the actress's name, but Juno. This is this is Juno's face. But I love the darkness cover of it, and as well as you open up the book on the inside, you get all this barque, 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 
somewhere the I can't pronounce it, but I love it. I love that kind of stuff. It's beautiful. Ugh, love the cover. Next book. Um, the only bad thing about this cover is this awful Target Club pick on it, but what uh, what can you do? It is Tell the Wolves I'm Home by Carol Riftebrunt, and I bought this book like I'd say a couple weeks ago maybe, and I immediately was drawn to the cover with the beautiful teapot. I think it is, and just the way the script falls and the. It's just, I just love it. I just really think it's a very unique cover, and I love unique covers as well. Last um, favorite cover pick is probably the most simple of them all, and this is just to show you I like simple covers. And that is The Running Dream by Wendelin Van Drenny. I think this really embodies the book. I haven't read the book, but when you read the description, this is definitely the book. It's just got a pair of um, sneakers that are tied to the R, and I just think it fits perfectly in with the book, and I just like the simplicity of it. I really think it's cool. Okay, so guys, those are all the book covers that I have been loving recently that are like are added on to my all-time favorite covers. Like I said, I will leave the link to the, my first part of this video that you can see more awesome covers right here or in the down bar, whatever you prefer, whatever is your fancy. Love, love, love book covers. It's honestly one of the main things that why you buy the book. Let's be honest here. A lot of people judge the book by its cover. I know I do. I'll admit that, but I always read the synopsis too. I just love book covers. I, and I know all you guys do too. Let's discuss book covers and all that kind of stuff. I will see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your week. Bye. Help me up or hold me down. Don't let me sink to the ground.